Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this day in the life video. Today I'm going to take you through a day in the life from this morning to this evening and I'm going to share with you some things that guys have asked me about like being coached by my husband and what it's like to be going through a prep when your husband is your coach. And this morning I have... Hello. <laughs> This morning I have already done my cardio, my stretching, my morning routine, which you guys have seen already on a previous video. But I'm now just chilling on the couch just for a few moments with this little one. And then I'm going to head into the office and record a podcast, which is going live today. And then I'm going to take you through the rest of my day. It was only on my birthday. Never mind all the lines on the highway. Give me time to... Oh, it's all good. We are good to go. Hi everyone and welcome back to Walk With Bex. Another week of prep is done and another week closer to my goal. This aspect of coaching is something I am hugely passionate about. So let's get into this. But for now, goodbye folks. So just having my pre-workout meal, I've got to say this is one of my favorite meals of the day. You guys know I like to mix kind of sweet and savory. So I have um, four rice cake thins, which are the salt and vinegar rice cakes. And then I have 30, 30 grams of almond butter or cashew butter, either or. And then a little drizzle of maple syrup. Tiny, tiny drizzle of the, the low sugar maple syrup. And then you got that salt, sweet, savory, all the good stuff going on straight before I go and train and 20 grams of whey just blended with water. So I'm gonna eat this now and then we're gonna head on the road and we are training upper body at Max and Eagle. So I'm ready to uh, hit these shoulders, get some back in and training a bit of arms as well. Having a bad day, yeah. A real good morning. <laughs> what about you, Milo? No. <laughs> You're a good boy. Well done. You're a good boy. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Okay? Oh, his little face. I can't go. I don't know if I'm more excited about training shoulders and getting um, some new PBs or downing this monster that you brought me, Neville. I absolutely love you. <laughs> You up for this? Let's do Sick. it. <laughs> I mean, if it's got delts like got you delts like that, then I'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> so, are you happy to join me for the session today? Yeah. Sick. Be good. So, we got Harley. Harley's joining us today. Hi. <laughs> He's up for some upper body session. Yeah, I know. Well, he wants my shoulders, and I want his arms. So, I think it's a good combo. <laughs> cool work. Good for me. <laughs> I can't believe the cat fit on your delt. <laughs> Control it down. Right now with me, let's go. Nice. One more. Go on. Yeah, last week I did 28 for four plus one assist. So I'm gonna go for 28 again.
from here all the way. <laughs> yeah, legs are fine. Everything else is fine. I'm just like, I literally like, mm, try washing your hair later. <laughs> We're just going to Medex now to just pick up some bits. I need to get some pre-cardio stuff, some greens and some vitamin C. And this is one of my favorite stores, so. come in and I end up getting something extra. Okay, I think just those for now. So I've got my post-workout meal now, which is cream of rice, it's whey, pineapple. I'm going to eat this, I'm going to chill for a bit and then shower and get ready because I've got two coaching um, calls in the office this afternoon with two new people that want to join my business coaching team. So this is my partner in crime, <laughs> seems to love sitting with me in the office. I've just had a really awesome business coaching call with a new client, a new guy that wants to join my team who is sick at CrossFit and a really successful PT but wants to become an online coach as well. So I've just finished my call with him and I've just sent him across the proposal for him to read through and to sign and hopefully he will be joining my team very soon. But I think it's time to go and get another meal, isn't it Milo? It's time to go and eat and take you out for a wee. Yeah, look how big he's getting. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> Back in the kitchen again and this next meal is pretty basic. It's just chicken, rice, and veg. And to be honest with you, like I try and make my photos for my food and stuff look nice on Instagram, but I pretty much eat everything out of a bowl because it's just easy. I'm gonna whack that in the microwave. Whilst that's cooking, I'm then gonna get my chicken and my rice prepared. You hungry, Switch? One. Three, two. Yes. So I tend to cook all my rice up in the rice cooker, keep it in a tupper, and then I just dish out the cooked weight when I need it. The chicken, thankfully, comes from Protein House. It's the best chicken ever. And then I'm just gonna throw it all in a bowl, heat it up in the microwave, and that's pretty much it. Most important ingredient. And that's literally it. And of course, a baby spoon. To make it seem like more. Yes. And it means you can get all the bits out of the bowl. A fork is never gonna work. So yeah, baby spoon makes it last longer. It's not for you. <laughs> okay, so it's quite a few hours later. I really wanna get into the topic of this video, being coached by my husband, because it's something that people ask me about all the time. And to be honest, it's something that I'm really proud of, like I love being coached by my husband and I think to begin with, it can be challenging when embarking on that journey with a partner because there are a lot of things to consider. However, what I will say is being coached by Darren is awesome because he knows me best and we are incredibly close and fly in my hair. He knows what my vision is and what my goals are moving forward. He knows how badly I want to compete and the huge goals that I have for myself with regards to bodybuilding. It's definitely brought us closer together in lots of ways, but equally, it's been something that we've had to manage with regards to our relationship and kind of separating that client relationship with husband and wife relationship. So that takes a little bit of practice for sure. and you know, it's, it's hard to kind of find where those lines are because at the end of the day, we're living in the same house, you know, I'm prepping my meals, he knows what plan I've got to follow and, well, I can't stray away from my plan because my husband lives in the same house as me and we're not ever going to have foods in the house that are going to tempt me to stray away from my diet. But equally, we go to the same gym together, so he knows when I'm pushing through a really tough session, he knows when I've had a hard week and I so I suppose that makes it really beneficial because when you are prepping and things are hard and tough, communicating with your coach is super important. So often he'll make decisions on like my food, my training, my rest, my recovery, whether I get a refeed and things. And I might not know the reasons for it, but he can see what I'm going through, what my body's doing and how it's changing. And he's able to make those adjustments really closely and monitor things really, really closely too. So I guess, being coached by hubby has been an incredible experience and journey and it's something that I don't think 
I'm ever gonna stop doing because he knows me so well. He's been doing it for like five years now and I don't trust anybody with my prep more than I trust him. But perhaps we'll ask him what he thinks about coaching his wife because he might have some other views on this. So what do you think about coaching me? Like what would you say is the easiest thing about coaching me? The easiest thing about coaching you would have to be your adherence. Um, it's never an issue with Becky not following the plan. If anything, the issue is trying to get her to not stress so much about being too anal about following the plan. <laughs> or her trying to force me to make the plan harder. <laughs> but no, honestly, uh, she's probably one of the most consistent people out there when it comes to training, nutrition. Even, and this year now, she's added in sort of the stuff outside of the gym and the nutrition, like managing her recovery, sleep, everything like that. Supplements. Yeah, supplements. Yeah, making sure my health is on check. Like. So, um, I'd say it's pretty easy, to be honest. What's the hardest thing, though? There must be something that's difficult, like being a husband and coaching your wife, who has got, like, serious goals and aspirations as an athlete. Like, what, what does that do for you as a husband? When you get moody. <laughs> Good boy, Milo, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the, when she, if she's having a bad day or something and she says stuff and I have to be... I think I did it the other day. I said, this is never how I This is your coach speaking. Oh, yes. You're like, where's my husband? I'm like, he's not here right now. You know, oh, yes. So we do have times that. like that where you have to be, kind of put the relationship aside and think like a coach, like <laughs> anyone else. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> like when you have to be subjective, do you find, do you find that hard? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's obviously difficult when she's like, I'm wrecked, or you can see like she wants food, or probably more actually when she's on prep two fish, it's not too bad. It's more in the off season when Becky's like, I'm getting a cheat meal. I'm like, no. Just let me have a cookie. I want a cookie and some ice cream. And I have to tell her to rein it in, and she doesn't talk to me for about 24 hours. <laughs> what about when I'm prepping and like on stage and stuff, and I don't get the result I want? I suppose that's quite tough for you, isn't it? Yeah, but I think that's when you don't have to be a coach, you can be, just be supportive as a husband because there's nothing really to say. No. The result doesn't go your way, it's not, there's nothing to do with coaching or nothing you can say to improve or be that way. It's just, you know, you brought your best to the day, it didn't happen, then it's just about being supportive. This is very true. I'm telling you, sh shut up and get back to it next year. <laughs> So yeah, my husband and my very supportive coach, everybody. So yeah, being coached by Hobby is great, honestly. And he is one of the best coaches out there. Well, the best in my opinion. So I've never really had, hey, any issues. If anything, it's just, just wanting it really badly and wanting to achieve the results that we want as a team. And that's the way it's always been. We've always been a team. I know, I was gonna do a wrap up that side. <laughs> On that note, as prescribed by husband and coach, Friday nights are... Seriously? <laughs> Most annoying husband and coach ever. He is grinding salt. <laughs> oh, he throws that one at me all the time as well. When I moan about something, he's like, you can just pay me then, because I'm your coach. Um, yeah, so Friday nights are a chilled night. We either go out with friends and we get some shisha and chill, or we stay at home and we enjoy shisha at home. So don't judge me, shisha is chill mode. And I've set up the garden. I've tried to make it look pretty. We've got the guys coming to set up the shisha. We've got some friends coming over to join us. And it's just gone seven o'clock. So we're just gonna chill this evening and then I've got check-in tomorrow. So I'm gonna close off this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing a full day in the life of Bex on a Friday. I'm gonna be putting out more videos very, very soon. I've got lots more to come with regards to fitness and business, but I will speak to you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Good morning.